We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop you, and I will come back for you, my love. Take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sean. I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. More coffee. the director some lake some yeah, you wanted to talk it's awesome to be doing this with you again Sam Sean it's so good to have you back we've been dreaming about this for so long and now finally we are making time breaker the video game <laughs> it's happening yeah parody of parody as well that's so cool in of a parody course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So the vortex and the gadget. I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your BRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. Right. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep true. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you 
is playing. <laughs> okay. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene. Where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multi- oh, This is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Uh-huh. Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <sighs> he finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before. But... That's the movie star lifestyle for you. <laughs> yep. This was something else entirely. And now we have a revolver with nine bullets. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall method acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. I'm an actor, and I can do this. I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> Nice. Oh, what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. I wonder if the quantum break is getting a sequel. They have at least the right technology for it. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Oh, who was that? Oh, he's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. Oh, God. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. The TV is broke. It sounded like me. Insanely. I heard the thoughts of another version of me, the one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. Okay, number four. So, that TV is probably an object of power. The Luma Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy node. The other me had hidden it away from this tree.
like the detail though. The handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. The energy node was out there in the forest, somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look for it. hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Where the hell am I? More multiverse nonsense. But I was committed to play along. Get no map. if he can turn around here and go to deeper to the forest this seems a bit bit linear let's go here okay Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? Waterfall is probably upstairs. Um, uh, upstream. Yeah, that sounds sounds like a stream, all right. of the additions you can take a picture because epic doesn't have a it, uh, its own own screenshotting and so the games need to have a PRS was charged now to get back to the trailer and the TV. It's an old video game. It's really happening. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. 
I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shift on the TV to get out. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that whatever would take me out was going to be Okay, Ocean V, you hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. These are pretty strong horror uh, effects the game is using. So some some people have it that's like abs absolute maximum. Kai tullut re reistuta lomalla, ei pahemmin. Ehkä päivän parin, no okei, okay. Pä päivän reissuja mieluummin, niin pystyy vielä nukkumaan. I had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time, when what I needed was there. Unique time anomaly. Stop by the six o'clock lobby man. Happy hour. Every hour is happy hour, okay? Yep, that's a six o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Three o'clock. Six o'clock. broken here. The corridors led to the same lobby, but in different times. The clocks showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. Okay. Fail of three. Five. Okay, you got this. Find another <laughs> Ah! 
The hotel was a strange place. They put it mildly. It looped around like in a dream. Maybe there was logic to it. Finding the right route to get through. Okay. Twelve o'clock. And then the three o'clock. And then nine. Easy. The same warning sign as before it made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. Something to do with door? A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me, the one native to this reality. Maybe door had killed him already. Not. A happy thought. So I wonder what's next. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Dor. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. <laughs> A strange feeling. Still, yet moving. Like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. F Max Payne had it like yet, cartoons. Thoughts flowing free. Like moving, moving text the, read out loud. <laughs> it's, it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. I thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse. But now it's suddenly real? Real and not real exist side by side. Coffee mugs. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean. The sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real. More real than real. 
many versions of us all in hidden interaction linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers, and yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one yep. reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. <laughs> Why is he nice. after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am... On the threshold, no, no. a door everywhere. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Turn your lives. Fade apart. The master of many worlds. We came through the door. All right. What can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me. Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. Works for me. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, door. The master of many worlds. <laughs> okay. Let's change the style of the game.
Logan TV. I quite li like this retro level. Although the controls were not the best. I've been brought to the very edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. Lots of polyhedrons. I had to find the door. Or the means to travel on. They're using the polyhedrons as a power source of some kind. So how does this tie up to the um, Polaris? From, from the control. This kind of expanding the idea of multiverses, but it's kind of okay, and this is broken. Now. It's kind of expanding the idea, but doesn't literally elaborate. It only gives like more questions, like uh, how how canonical all of these are. And what happened after control after control to the main character? Although that's a pretty good point that you don't need to you don't need to always like uh, use money for the more cap and or making a TV series like a control made. You have guns. But yeah, comic comics uh, comic screens are e good enough. To <laughs> Gather the the lead the for story forward.
Okay. Okay. Text text adventure. Beginning it ever as a bird. Here only birds exist. Concept not dessert. It stretches to an inner in eternity. In a place outside town you want to a measurable amount of time. About the ideas of stars and the collapse into black holes, so uh, more like a platonical idea of the of the of the rather rather than biblical idea of the world. Imagine cup of coffee. No, no, we are not drinking coffee. Caldera Lake. Yes, your PR us. Spiral pendant. What was your mission? on me. <laughs> we have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. <laughs> but in the vastness of the multiverse, 
with an endless number of versions of ourselves. What is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Door. And this is Night Springs. Pretty fun episodes. I mean, I have to admit there's lot, lots of effort put into doing this. Ah, uh, James McCaffrey. Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought I was getting closer, things shifted around. And I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches, the closer I felt to going mad. <laughs> 